kind of give us an assessment where you're at? I think this is practice 12. You're kind of in the home stretch here. Yeah, it's um, very pleased with where we're at. We've gotten a lot of scenarios, a lot of situational football that we've um, have kind of came up. And you know what I like about the, our structure of practice is we just put the ball down and go play. You know what I mean? And so there's there's a lot of scenarios that come up um, that you kind of got to work through offensively, defensively, and special teams. And so, you know, we're kind of getting an idea of, of depth chart wise, where guys are at, um, and, and you know, who we can count on. You know, this, uh, this last scrimmage will be critical on finalizing some of those details. What, what is it you still want to work at here as you come down this home stretch? I mean, everything, you know, I think it's what we got 18 days till game day. So, um, you know, all, all three phases, you know, every, every scenario, like I said, you know, we got to, like, like I said at the early start of camp, we got veteran guys, but uh, not got a whole lot of guys that have had experience with each other. And so uh, it was just putting them in those adverse moments um, and trying to put as much pressure on them as, as possible now so that we get to game day. It's They've done it before. They've seen it before. They've felt it before. Uh, so they, they can rely on their, their preparation. Did you have a pretty good scrimmage practice on Saturday? Is that what you did? No, uh, the scrimmage will be this Thursday. Okay. Yeah. What is it you want to work on there? Just game scenarios? Anything in particular? Yeah, just we're just playing ball. Like I said, um, the, you know, the more we can just play with each other, the, the better. So we're not easing into the season. We got to be ready to roll um, with the with the quality opponent in Fresno State coming in. Our will, place. That, will that be the final scrimmage of a piece? Yes. And how, how, how many scrimmages have you had total? That'll be our second scrimmage. Okay. Are there any groups in particular that have um, improved a lot? Yeah, our O-line has, has improved tremendously. Coach Johnson done an awesome job with those guys. You know, we obviously added a couple faces. Um, and, and guys that were here did a great job in the offseason with Coach Rowe and just changing their bodies and getting stronger, getting bigger. Um, and they're gelling, you know. And, and, you know, what we do defensively kind of puts pressure on that group in particular, um, just with the one-on-one -on -one blocks and um, different twist games that we, that we do. And so those guys are are getting inundated fast with, with communication and playing with each other. Talked about Jamal last week. Any more injury casualties or anybody that's going to be out for an extended time? Um, no, I mean, you know, Colton Berger got dinged up, but he should be fine. Um, we've had, you know, a couple guys with some soft tissue injuries that uh, will we'll be ready come the start of the season. So, um, you know, I'm, we're, we're fairly healthy you might not with the minus Jamal. You think, you think one side of the ball is ahead of the other right now? No, I mean, it's back, it was back and forth every day. You know, one day the offense will, will seem like they have the upper hand, but they're still back and forth. And then the next day the defense seemed like they have the upper, time, upper hand, but there's back and forth, um, which is what you want to see. That means the guys are competing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's weird from, from my perspective, being a defensive guy and, and now like cheering for both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. um, that's, a, uh, that's a work in progress. What are you most pleased with and what do you still think needs the most work? Um, I think I'm, I'm most pleased with the uh, buy-in and the want to. Like, guys are enjoying going to work. They're enjoying practice. Um, and, and we're making practice hard. It's difficult. And it's, we're asking them to do things that they haven't, haven't done before. Um, so just their willingness um, and commitment to striving to get better every day, that's what I'm most pleased with. Um, you know, what do we got to work on more? Just the attention to details um, and technique and fundamentals, especially when we get tired. Uh, you know, we always do scenarios at the end of the game, at the end of practice, uh, much like it would be at the end of the game when uh, you're the most tired, and, and that's when you know, the details and the fundamentals and techniques matter the most um, to put you in positions to, to win tight games. And you know, with our schedule, this this going to come down to the fourth quarter most of the time. So um, I think that's just where we got to fine tune. You know what we're what we're doing when we're tired and when the game matters most. I mentioned the depth chart. Have you put much stock into red shirt candidates or anything like no, that? No, not yet. That'll be after after Thursday's scrimmage. I know you talked about it this spring a little bit, just with you guys being unique on both sides of the ball from the rest of the conference. Mm -hmm. How much have you shown um, just different looks that they could see throughout the season? Or is that something that you'll just do? we'll get into that as we start getting into game prep? You know, we had a segment. Uh, last practice, like an emphasis segment where, um, you know, we we did some more four down stuff for the offense, you know, some quarters and cover three stuff for the offense. Um, and offensively, you know, they gave us more 12 personnel, two back sets, and um, different things like that, you know, that, that we'll end up seeing throughout the course of the season. Um, but that's definitely different from what our identity is offensively. You're about eight, nine. 
nine months into this, Ryan. Um, what do you think the biggest thing you learned about being a head coach? Um, just the one, like, to trust the guys you've hired to, to do their jobs at a high level and uh, operate efficiently uh, so that I can do my job efficiently. Um, and just being able to adapt and adjust where, when you need to. Um, and having an open ear and open eyes to everything that's going on in the program. Um, and, you know, always striving to make the players experience the best it can be here. You know, that's, that's just the way I'm operating and, and so far it's, it's working. And so I hope that bodes well for the season. Anything surprise you? I didn't, you know, I, I didn't expect to yeah. have uh, X, just, Y, or Z. Or... You know, the, th the thing that sort of catches you off guard when you're not expecting it is just the being recognized, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you know, because in my mind, I'm, I'm still the same person I was before I signed a piece of paper that said I'm the head coach at Purdue. Um, so, you know, that, that's the only, and, and the community has been awesome. Just with the recognition, it's not intrusive, it's it's welcoming, it's, you know, it's excitement. Um, so I'm, I'm blessed to be at a place like Purdue in West Lafayette where uh, the fan base is so supportive. That is, that is definitely the, the thing that people don't talk about uh, that, that happens when you know you put in a, a position that I'm in. How do you keep this highly competitive where, I mean, it's a long time from camp to the first game and, yeah. you know, it can, you know, it's kind of the dog days of fall and it can get stale maybe at times. So you got to keep it exciting. Yeah, you know, I think just the way we practice our 11, we do a lot of 11 on 11 um, and a lot of just straight move the ball. You know, I've been places where you, you know, okay, we're working all first downs or we're working first down play second and you know you kind of as a player you kind of just go out there and you're playing plays and not really putting yourself in those situations and and so I think when you actually put the ball down and you just move the ball like uh, offense is trying to go score and defense is trying to stop them from scoring um, so there's a winner and a loser at the end of that segment and so I think the more we can simulate a game-like experience throughout the course of practice no matter you know whether we're in full pads or shells or just in helmets, I think that bodes well for keeping it competitive and and um, and, and continually to, to teach situational football. I'm well, impressed are you with the depth that you've built here in, in such a short time where, you know, in the spring you had almost no depth at, at most of the positions. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a completely different team. You know, I'm sure you guys come out and see it too. It's, you know, we added a lot of guys. Um, and to their credit, they've gelled really well with the guys that were already here. Um, and, and so they've, they've gotten chemistry, gotten camaraderie, and I'm just very, very pleased with the, the guys we took and, and the guys we kept. You got Fan Day Friday. Why, why are days like that important for this program? Uh, just to get out in front of the community, and um, you know, as much as they appreciate the product we put on the field on game days, we appreciate the support um, and the excitement that they draw uh, to our game. And, and so, it's, I think it's always good for you know the two to interact um, on a on a personal level, like like the that like a day like fan day provides. You guys got to go swimming. Were any surprise you going guys going off the, the high dive? With yeah, we got, we got a lot of we got a, we got a lot of dudes that are acrobatic in the air. Um, ben Farrell was awesome. Uh, Elijah Canyon was was really good. Uh, uh, shoot Hudson Carr. I mean, but it's no surprise. He's freaking he's freaking good at everything he does. Uh, but it was funny. He he, uh, he can do a bunch of flips and dives. Like the one time he sort of bailed out, you know. Obviously, as coaches, we're like, okay, get out. But the players, like, all right, you're done, you're done. <laughs> so that was it was good fellowship there.